Welcome to Supervillain Spotlight. Today I'll be covering the origin of Sabretooth. Sabretooth was created by Chris Claremont and John Byrne. His abilities include superhuman strength, stamina, speed, durability, reflexes, agility, senses, and animal-like attributes. Extended longevity, regeneration, and slowed aging. Resistant to diseases, viruses, poisons, and illness. And he has retractable claws and sharp teeth. You know, hence the name Sabretooth. Also known as Victor Creed, he is most commonly associated with the X-Men, in particular Wolverine. But his first appearance in comics was Iron Fist, issue 14 from August 1977. Originally, Sabretooth was portrayed as a non-powered serial killer, but was later written as a mutant, possessing superhuman abilities, most notably a rapid healing factor and razor-sharp fangs. It is later revealed that Sabretooth has ties to Wolverine through the Weapon X program. When Logan learns of the anti-mutant forces within the government, Victor and Logan form a team of rebel mutants and Victor falls in love with a mutant named Halo. Eventually, Creed grows tired of fighting and wants to leave with Halo, but she has already decided against it. In the final conflict, Halo is mortally wounded and dies. Creed blames Logan for her death. Later, Sabretooth finds himself recruited by the Weapon X program. It's unknown what, if any, new enhancements he received, but as part of the program, his memories were tampered with by a psychic mutant. With Sabretooth's memories now tampered with and so much of his past unclear, he is only left with bits and pieces of fractured memories. Upon seeing Wolverine again, the only thing that he knew is that he had a deep-seated hatred for him. I've been a fan of Sabretooth ever since I first saw him in the X-Men animated series back in the day, and even more so when I discovered his origin in the comics. Here's some great reads if you're interested in this character. Obviously his first appearance in Iron Fist 14, before he had any powers or was associated with the X-Men at all, is a great place to start. And then you have Wolverine issue 10 from 1989, which featured Wolverine and Sabretooth's first meeting in the comics. You have X-Factor issue 52, which features a brutal fight between Sabretooth and Archangel. Another incredible Wolverine vs. Sabretooth showdown takes place in Uncanny X-Men issues 212 and 213. And yet another epic showdown between Wolverine and Sabretooth takes place in Wolverine issue 90. There are also two Sabretooth miniseries with four issues apiece. The first came out in 1994, simply titled Sabretooth. The next came out in 1996, titled Sabretooth and Mystique. Definitely check those books out if you're looking for some great reads. Alright, that is it for this episode of Super Villain Spotlight. I will catch you guys next time. Peace. What did you say his power level is? Over 9,000!